Hey there, welcome to the show Where prank calls are all we know Oh yeah, I'm Brad Farter, I'm kinda slick But let me warn you, I'm a real dick Yeah! Dialing numbers, causing a fuss Hobosodes, it's just for us Only for us! Patreon subscribers, get the thrill as I prank Hey everybody, you're listening to the 440th Hobo Sode, which is brought to you by KC Deeply. Thanks for that, KC Deeply. I swear I'm not keeping that song as the intro song. It was just there, so I left it there and let it play. I'll change it next time, I promise. Besides, it's episode 440. Now the non-subscribers can hear that amazing song. I mean, it's not amazing, but you know, it's an actual Hobo Sode song. Hello? Hello, Robert! Speaking. It's Dave from Public Works. Um, did you get the letter we sent you where they're going to be pouring the concrete footings in your front yard tomorrow? <laughs> You're at the wrong place, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I reached 507 Drive. Well, the address is right, but you're not going to put footings in my garage. <laughs> no, not in the garage. In the in the in the front. You know, in the easement no. area. Where the, the wrong place. where the fire hydrants are. No, we don't have the wrong place. He, they're going to be there tomorrow, and they're going to pour a big concrete footing for the fiber hut. Who's paying for this? Oh, the the, the you know it's, it's a telecommunications thing. The, oh, okay. It, it's the phone company. It's going to be a five foot by five foot thing, a big metal casing in your front yard, basically. Not in my front yard, you're not. Sir, it's, you the, it's where the electrical boxes are? Yeah, it's the easement area, like where the fire hydrants are and the mailboxes are. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put it out there. It'll be five foot tall and five foot wide, and it'll provide fiber internet to everyone in okay. the neighborhood except for you. <laughs> Cause you're, except for me, huh? Yeah, well, you're kind of like too close to the fiber box for it to work properly you're like in the eye of the storm and also uh you're being kind of a dick right now about the whole thing so i'm not i don't feel sorry for you you don't need fiber anyway you're old thanks for the insult goodbye well it's not an insult how is being old an insult you should be proud to be old right shia labeouf hello hey is this massimo I'm sorry, who, what was that? Oh, is this Massimo? Yes, this is uh, Massimo. Okay, oh no, it's Massimo. Uh, I'm calling from the city. And yeah, what's going on? We're going to be coming out to your house to lay down uh, some concrete footers for the fiber huts. Fiber nets? Um, I, I don't own a home. Oh. Yeah. Where, what was the address? Well, it's going to be right in front of your house, 607. Avenue. Oh, I guess that. I guess you're right. Yeah, that is my house. Uh, my dad's name is also Massimo, so maybe that's why. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna yeah, be a really what? big box, like a seven foot tall by five foot wide. What do you guys drop in there? Uh, it's a fiber hut, so you can get fiber optic internet. Oh, okay. Um, can I give you my mom's number, and you can call her and let her know? Yes. All right. Give me a real quick. Well, that, that's, that's okay with you though, right? Like uh if you have a big old big old metal container thing out there. Um Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk tomorrow about that. Okay. I wouldn't care, but it's uh nine oh oh eight. I can't believe you had to look that up. You know what? I have my mom's number memorized. She switched it like eight times. She's what? Oh, she changes it? <laughs> a couple times what company is uh doing the work oh it's the well it's the city um you know the, that's putting the concrete footers down but then the the phone company is going to be out to put down the uh the huts oh okay already yeah you can give her a call but, the, the but fiber huts now. you're going to want to keep a close eye on these on these boxes too because uh people love to break into fiber huts and 
steal all the electronics inside. Oh, so what is it going to be like just in the middle of my yard or like how do Yeah, yeah, right in the middle, right in the dead center. Oh. Yeah, hey, can we uh can we keep keep a couple pallets of of uh, electronic equipment in your garage for a little while? What the hell are you talking about? Well, you know, if we put it in the driveway, people steal it. It's it's all the electronics that go inside the fiber hut. Somebody's ma- who's messing with me? Oh no, I wouldn't mess with I'm you, not- sir. I went to city. No, you're not. What do you mean? <laughs> no- what are you talking about? Of course I am. What what city? The the you know the city. What city yeah, do you? you liar. What? You're lying, at, you're lying your ass off. You you think I have your address, but not your uh, city name? Yeah. Washington. <gasps> I did it, didn't I? I passed your test. Yeah, I guess you did. Okay, I'm going to call your mom. Bye. All right, let's hurry up. You have reached me. Please leave your number. Damn it. Thank you. Listen here, Massimo's mom. Uh, I just talked to Massimo. And, you know, the one that lives over on Avenue. And I was trying to tell him we're putting up this uh, gigantic... A uh, fiber hut in his front yard. It's like seven feet tall and five foot wide. And he's like, you know what? Even though I'm a, an adult, I can't handle this on my own. I have to get my mom. Can you call my mom? I need you to talk to my mom about this because I'm basically a child and I don't know how to look. Can you call me back? We need to talk about this this fiber hut. And he was being really disagreeable about us borrowing his garage. All right, thank you, Mrs. Massimo. Bye. I don't expect a call back from that, but, you know, I don't care. I was looking on the Discord this morning, and someone posted an article on it saying, Omaha resident concerned with Fiber Hut becoming a traffic hazard. And, you know, it's one of those little boxes. Uh, I don't actually know how tall it is. It's maybe five foot by five foot, but it's off the road. It's way up there in a yard. And the whole neighborhood's so upset about it. Somehow, this thing that's like 20 feet off the street is going to block their vision when they're driving. And they had other complaints. I can't remember what they were. And you'll see crews installing underground cables to improve internet and other services. One homeowner claims there's been a lack of communication about a large box which stands above ground next to a busy street. Mike McKnight looks into these traffic safety concerns as Six On Your Side investigates. It's called a fiber hut, but what John Petto sees next to his backyard is a metal structure. Yeah, so I'm six feet tall, and it's pretty oh. much as tall as I am. Wow, it's like six foot by eight foot. Six foot tall by like eight foot wide, I think. Yeah, and, you know, longer than six feet. Though the large fiber box stands out in a residential area, Petto says he and his neighbors <laughs> didn't see it coming. His name's Petto. All right, I don't want to listen to any of this. Maybe I'll link it in the show notes. Maybe I won't. But I've done calls like this before, uh, installing giant metal boxes of some sort in people's yards, and they usually don't like that, even when it's way out in the easement area. I remember one of the neighbors in that article was like, well, there's some apartments down the road a little bit. Why couldn't they put them in front of the apartments? Because nobody wants shit in their yard. They want it way down the road toward those poor people in those apartments. Oh, shoot. I got a call coming back, and I don't know who it is. Hello. Yes, you called here? Oh, yeah, I did. I was calling a few people there in the same area because we're going to be putting a big metal box right in front of your house. For what? Uh, It's a fiber hut. It's for fiber internet. Whose dog is that? Is that, Is that your dog in the background? No, it's the one behind me. Oh, man. Somebody needs to tell that thing to shut up. Yeah. Anyway, what is this for? Uh, it's for fiber internet. You're gonna have fiber internet in your neighborhood, but we're putting it directly in the middle of your front yard. It's gonna be a box that stands about six foot tall by eight foot wide. In the middle of my front yard? Yes. You better call my neighbor see if he wants to do it because it doesn't go into my front yard. Oh no, it's definitely going in your front yard. They're coming tomorrow to pour the concrete footings. To set it on well, top of. If they, if, they, if they show up, they better come hard. They better what? Because they're not putting. They better come hard and armed. 
because the, they're not going to put a box in the middle of my drive, my, my yard. You want the city no. workers to come with like machine guns strapped to their shoulders and stuff? I don't give, I don't give a shit. Do you know how Dude, stupid you sound, sir? Do you know how stupid you sound? Oh, <laughs> he wants them to come hard and armed. That's a normal reaction. Nothing weird there. Oh, I think this is him again. I couldn't find him. Like maybe I deleted him already because he wasn't picking up. So I don't know who this is. Hello. Public works. Can I help you? Oh, now you're going to make prank calls to me. He hung up. He's like, oh shit. They have caller ID. Who would have thought that they would have caller ID? Hello. Hey, is this Salvatore? It is. Yes. Oh, okay. It's Grega from the public works department. Yes. Uh, I needed to let you know the trucks are going to be out there in the morning to lay down concrete footings in your yard. So, uh, yeah, for the fiber hut, you know, so you have fiber internet out there. It's, it's going to be a big box that's six feet tall by eight feet wide. You must be talking to the wrong person. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had the person that lived at 614. Yeah, I but feel stupid. where are you calling from? Oh, from the public works. What? Who's C- public works? Celine. Celine. Yeah. And you're you're coming on my property at, in Lane tomorrow? Yeah, they're just gonna you know dig a small uh, rectangular hole and fill it up with rebar and put cement in there. And then uh, the telecom companies will come tomorrow. I mean the next day, and they'll they'll start installing the the large boxes. The six foot tall boxes. I, I had no idea about that. Oh, he sent you a letter. Didn't you get the letter? Never got a letter. Oh, he probably got it. He just threw it away. Thought it was junk mail. No, I do that no, all the no. time. No, I, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Sorry for the accusation, but yeah. But where, where is it? Where is it? It be, where is this being done? Oh, it's going to be uh, right out there front in the easement area. It looks like you have a nice little garden or something planted out there right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to take that down. Sorry. We'll try to s- set the plants aside for you. You're joking. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't kid about that. It's for fiber internet. Everyone needs fiber internet now. So uh, No, you're, jo- you're joking. I'm, I'm joking and about... your exchange is an 810 number. Fiber internet. I'm calling from home. You know, COVID still yeah. exists. We still work from home. Where do you live? That's none of your business, sir. I just work for I mean, you, public works. 810 is pretty far away from 734. Yeah, yeah, it's up there, up north. And you drive into Saline every day? Sir, that's where I used to live, and I've moved down here years and years ago, and I kept my phone number. I was able to okay. do that because I have a cell phone. Have you ever okay. heard of a cell phone, sir? Yeah, but it's unusual for you to call me at 7 o'clock in the evening to tell me this. I'm working from home. Uh, I understand, but it's it's not business hours. Okay, well, just don't bother the trucks that are out there in the morning. They'll be there about 8 or 9 in the morning to pour the footings and to dig up the yard. Yeah, okay. And then okay. The, uh, the phone company, fiber people, will be there the next day. Yeah, that, that's funny. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> Except not really. Who, you're kind of a pain in the ass. Who's paying you to do this? paid me the the city really yeah did 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 you even give me your name yeah don't you remember no geez your memory is really whoosh it's just going it it is Um, going yeah um, Yeah, yeah. i'm glad you realize that you know when you get older your memory's not as good (laughs) yeah but i mean i just said it a minute ago my name is grega grega yes is that a first name or a last name that's my first name are you making fun of my name no, I'm not making fun of it, but Grega is a very unusual first name. Well, no, it's not. It's G R E G G. It's like yeah, that's it. That, I've never met one in 66 years on Earth. You're the first. You've never met a a Greg with two G's. You said Grega. Oh, it is Grega. It's because there's two G's, like Greg Giga, like that. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, What's your last name, Grego? All right, listen here, buddy. I don't need to have my identity stolen by some old man. So I'm going to hang up. 
And those trucks will hey, be there in the morning with the concrete. It, it was very fun. You should have done this on April 1st, though. It would have been appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love you. Thank, thanks. If I if uh, I come out there and if I see you, I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. You have a good evening. And you're going to bake joke. out. All right. I love you. Bye. Thanks. Darn it, Salvatore is too smart for me. I think that city I said isn't actually a city. It's like a, you know, one of those rural areas. So that's one of the many things that gave me away. Uh oh, I'm getting, I'm getting two callbacks at once. I don't know what to do. I don't know who they are. Uh, hello, hello. Hi, who is this? You called me. Who is this? I'm verifying a call I got earlier. What oh, company is it? She hung up on you because uh, you sounded angry. I, I was getting two callbacks at once. So I put them on the line together. You and her. And I was gonna, I was hoping you two would have a conversation. Okay. Well, I need to, for security reasons, verify the company you're with. No, I I won't verify shit, sir. Okay, there he goes. I don't know who that was, and I don't know who the other lady was, but he scared her off with his shitty attitude. All right, something weird has happened in my recording where, I don't know, it seems like 11 minutes of my voice has disappeared, but you can still hear the other people that I called. So I present to you possibly 11 minutes of a man having a conversation where you can't hear what's being said on the other end. It's not going to be 11 minutes. I won't do that to you guys, but let's see what this is, I guess. Hello? Yes? Yes, Gary? Mm-hmm. Public Works Department? Oh, I'm looking outside. Where are they pouring concrete? This is for Grace Church Road? Is this something what, Something the city's doing? Oh, oh, for like AT&T or whatever. And this is from... Oh, the, the county is doing this? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Is it going to block the driveway? The box is going to be permanently there? And it's going to be on the grass? I never knew about this. I check my mail all the time. That's interesting. So if I'm looking at my driveway, you're saying, is it, is it right next to it? Or is it like more towards the main road? Hmm. I mean, I guess, yeah, they have four trees, but I guess if they put it in the one that's closest to the main road, it won't be as much of an eyesore as compared to right next to my driveway. Yeah. So you said they're starting in the morning around 9 a.m.? Okay. All right. I guess I'll chat with them in the morning then. No, no. Yeah, no, no. It's nothing like that. I just didn't, you know, because it affects the property value. I just want to make sure that it's not like right next to my driveway, you know? Yeah, because that's where I put my garbage cans. Interesting. Okay. I'll just see it in the morning then. Sounds good. Driveway won't be available because we have our cars in the driveway, but they can definitely park stuff on the street. Yeah, they can probably probably park on the street, just not block the driveway in because we have to get out in the morning to take the kids to school. I guess I'm... <laughs> yeah, I mean, when they come, when, I mean, if they're coming tonight with the trucks, we can see. I'll be here. We can, we can find a good position. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to get back to dinner, but... We'll see you guys later in the morning. Okay. Sounds good. I'll keep that in mind. What are you having for dinner? I don't know, man. Whatever my wife is making. Oh, you said you're going to get back to dinner as if you'd already started. Oh, it's like it's about, she's cooking. We're going to start in a few minutes. So that's not back to dinner. That's like, yeah. you're going to start dinner. You're trying yeah. to trick me. <laughs> not true. Well, I got to go, but thank you for letting me know. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Bye-bye now. Sir, I said have a nice day. Have a nice day. He won't say it back. He's making it very awkward. Okay, hey, it's me again, uh, post-editing the recording, Brad. I recorded the show earlier in the day, and now it's late at night, and I'm putting it all together, and I'm noticing there's a big chunk of my voice missing, and I don't know why. The guy could hear me, just you guys couldn't, so I don't know why that happened. I could probably go into my Aster system and retrieve it. There's one thing I remember I said to that guy right near the end, right before he said, well, I got to go get dinner. 
is that I told him that the construction foreman wore a puppet on his hand. And whenever he spoke to anybody, he spoke through the puppet and not to look him in the eyes because that would just set him off. Oh, man, maybe I do need to go get that call. That sounds kind of fun now. But for now, let's just get back to the show. Here's the next call that happened earlier. Hello, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. It's your neighbor. It's Roy. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, did you happen to find my baseball glove in your backyard? No, no, not that I'm aware of. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I just... Did been... you leave it somewhere? Maybe a dog grabbed it or something? or. Oh, I don't know. I hope not. Do you have a dog? I left it in your backyard. Why would you leave it in my backyard? Well, we were, we were back there last night. We were playing uh, late night baseball. It's just something me and friends do late at night. I doubt you're in my backyard. Are you sure you're talking to the right person? I'm positive I was in your backyard. You're Mike, right? I am. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we were in your backyard I mean, playing uh, baseball. Late night baseball. You and Steven? Uh, I don't know a Steven. Okay, that's my son. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know you guys. We just uh, kind of oh, go around doing? backyards in the neighborhood and play baseball and... I think I left my glove and my face mask, my catcher's mask. Brother, I don't know why you'd be in my backyard. I mean, I really don't have a backyard. Yeah, well, you know, it's just random. We just go to different random backyards and play late night baseball. Okay. Well, I'm not aware of any baseball gloves or anything in my backyard, my friend, but you're more willing to walk back there and look for it. Okay. All right. I'll come out there late tonight then probably two or three in the morning. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> well, no, it's because I work late. That's what I'm saying. I that's why we do late night I baseball. I don't want you. I don't want you. Well, who are you? Uh, my name is Roy. I live just down the road a little bit. Okay, so I don't understand why. How do you have my number? And for two, how? Why would you be playing baseball in my backyard? I live in a mobile home, it's, which is basically a swamp behind my house. It's just a thing we do. We we do backyard baseball uh, in random well, yards you know, around the neighborhood. You don't go in people's yards at two thirty, three o'clock yeah, in the morning. Yeah, we do. Dude. That's, that's the whole point. It's fun. It makes it more exciting. Sometimes no, we get yelled what at. You, what you do is you go and you go find people that have pools, and you go pool hopping in the middle of the night. Uh, that's, that's what you. Do. A little chilly for that's that. What we, that's what we used to do. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice, honey. Uh, I like to play baseball. I don't like to do girl things. Uh, okay, well, I don't know why you're calling me, brother, and why you're saying weird-ass random things, but I recommend you don't fucking come near my house. Oh, so we'll I'll be back there. Up. I got to find oh, that baseball will, glove. Uh, oh, I'm going to bring a baseball bat to your fucking head. No, you won't. Man, a baseball bat to the head. Some of these people have sick fantasies and violent, too. Who is this? Jason. Jeez. About time you pick up. I call like three times. Who is this? Uh, this is Jeff. I'm the manager at Golden Corral. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey. I'm sorry. Hey, you, you left uh, something behind here. You better come back and get it. What? A uh, box of tampons. Oh, Jesus. C come back and get your tampons, Jason. Maybe I will, if they're free. Oh, they're free. They're yours. Oh, tell me where to come. Golden Corral, silly. And who should I ask for? Jeff. Would that be you? Uh, yeah, I'll have no. your, I'll have your tampons in my hand. All right. You got any money in that other hand? Uh, no. Why would I give you money? Well, because you didn't give me any food. Yeah, we did. Good night. Hey, listen here, buddy. That was a guy who posted his phone number on Twitter. Uh, it's it's back to me, everybody. I know this is getting confusing, but it's late night, Brad, and I've been editing, and I opened up this tab on my browser that was still open from Wednesday night, and it was the page that I used to get phone numbers off of Twitter, and it had updated itself to where this guy Jason had posted just five hours ago. I guess it's kind of late at night now, though. So, yeah, that was boring. Oh, yeah, the post. He was complaining at Golden Corral, which is a uh, restaurant chain he's like, I placed an order of 510 and got there at 540. They hadn't even started my order and refused to do so or issue a refund. 
I finally left at 640. And then the corporate Golden Corral account writes back to him, sorry about your experience. Please DM me your information. And he doesn't DM, of course. He just replies and says, thank you. Here's my email. Here's my phone number. But then he wasn't even that interesting. And I can't get him to pick up again. I tried calling him back. He just refuses now. Hey, look at this. I got a voicemail several hours ago. Hey, Peckerwood, come get your glove, fuck face. <laughs> I think that means I should call him back. He probably won't pick up, though. Five, two, two, six. He still refuses to pick up, so I guess we're just never going to call him again. But what's funny is it's about two or three in the morning over there right now. Right around the time I should be out in his yard looking for my baseball glove. Hello, Sarah? Hello. Yeah. Oh, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, hey there. It's it's Jeff from the uh the Woods Homeowners Association. Yeah. Hey, um listen, when you put your trash out, you need to face face your uh trash cans on a north northeast southeast axis. What? I didn't put my trash out this week. I know, but when you do, you're always facing your cans the wrong way. Oh, I'm sorry. They got to be like lined up perfectly with the street. Or my wife. You had to call me. You had to call me about this at two thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It it makes my wife just lose her mind when you have those cans crooked. Because she, she's the. Oh, I don't know why I'm calling more people. I'm supposed to be editing this show. You guys, I'm gonna stop. I think the show is gonna be over now. And that's all thanks to KC Deeply who is today's show sponsor. Thank you, everybody, that supports the shows. Even though I'm a guy, it doesn't mean that I have to put the toilet seat down low. Even though you're a girl, you can leave the seat up for me, up for me. I hate when people walk in the out of the Walmart doors. Please move, you're in my way. And also, I hate when the toilet roll is backwards And crusty's on the toothpaste Even though I'm a guy It doesn't mean that I have to put the toilet seat down low Even though you're a girl You can leave the seat up for me yes. Up for me I don't need to put the toilet seat down I'll be going to the bathroom in a couple hours So you better look before you sit when you're being now Ain't my fault if you fall in Seat stays up, I'm a log in Even though I'm a guy It doesn't mean that I have to put the toilet seat down low Even though you're a girl You can leave the seat up for me Up for me I'm asleep right now. I'm woke, sir.